Hey there all you great travelers, welcome back. Today I thought I'd go ahead and share with you my hotel stays in China, AKA the anatomy of a Chinese hotel. Different. <laughs> so far on this trip, I've been staying at one hotel a night. That's pretty insane. We're constantly on the move and we're trying to make our way uh, through the region. So each night is at a different hotel. This is what business class China is like. Okay, I absolutely miss my hotels. I love hotels. Love them. I could live in them for life. What's that? Huh? It's got its own private stall. What's this? <gasps> Shower. The beauty of staying at a first rate hotel when you're traveling is kind of you get a lot of well the toilet seat is up. Oh Oh my god, it's see-through. So for those who are interested in plugs and outlets and what you need to get, this is China. They work with the two-prong the two-prong plug, but there's also um, grounded plugs which have got like this doohickey. So here are the room options. That looks very New York. That looks very honeymoon. You know? Yeah. I like the New York one. That looks like a New York loft. This looks like a love motel. Okay, I'm only on floor number two. Thank you. What number are you, Yuka? Here. Oh, 202? Yeah. I'm 204. 204 is there. Okay. And there, um, do you know the schedule for now? I don't think we... I don't think we have a schedule. I think it's free time. Interesting. Different. Definitely different. Um, so here, can, I can see right into my bath. This is almost like a love motel. The toilet is sharing the same space as the shower. Very Asian um, bathroom. And that's the window to my room. I think that's my heater for the water. Hope I don't have to know how to turn it on. It's like a rain shower water. I like that. I like that. It's labeled. Good to know. I like that they have all these different signs. And these will help, of course, bath slippers. I guess you can pull the shades down if you want, you know, if you want privacy. It reminds me of some of Korea's uh, love motels, actually. They have like this little see through window. Not standard, but definitely interesting. Okay, so we have free Wi-Fi. That is the most important thing to me right now. Yep, it's hard to live without Wi-Fi when you're a travel blog. I know, I promised people I'd be posting stuff and updates. That must be my Wi-Fi. Now each room has their own Wi-Fi. Ooh, scary blanket, no. Each room has their own Wi-Fi. I'm proud of Hubong is mostly Tibetan in terms of culture. But I always feel very safe whenever I'm like in a Tibetan culture, actually. So it's around 7 a.m. right now and I'm at the hot springs uh, outside of our hotel. This is the first hotel I've been to that has a scale. Just in case you're planning to gain some weight. This is our third hot spring hotel because we're in Jilin area and it's known for its hot springs. 
So here I am in one of the pools of the hot springs that's out, well, inside of our hotel, and um, it's pretty nice. And that's like a jacuzzi seat. I was on that for a while. Wow, we have like a whole house. Oh, <sighs> a terrace and a dining room? That's amazing. Oh. Wow, this is like our living room. Yeah. This should be downstairs. And TVs. We each have our own bathroom too? Uh, I mean, that would be oh. your own. Oh, no way. That's I want to see what it looks like during the day. I'd like to know what that ritual thing is. This looks like a ceremony of some sort. I'm trying to figure out what it is because this, this is almost like an offering, which I could completely be wrong in. Looks like an offering. This kind of looks like ding, ding, ding. And this looks like ooh. And there's matches here. If I could read Chinese, I'm sure that's what this would be telling me. What is this? It's like oatmeal, tomatoes, crispy sticks. What are these? It's like a welcome note that's handwritten. I can't imagine like someone like writing, like designated writer of welcome letters. So I'm really thirsty right now, but this water looks not clean. Doesn't smell any different. I feel kind of ridiculous grabbing my life straw, sticking it in here, but I'm almost tempted to. It's like an, ar an aromatic drink. It's pretty hard, actually. Doesn't feel like it would be ripe, but I'm gonna guess that it is. The Chinese um, hotels that we've been staying at, the beds, some of the beds have been kind of hard, so I'm afraid to like really fall on this. Okay, the test of how soft it is. Nice. I heard the beds aren't that soft, but oh. Okay, these beds aren't, they're not that, they're kind of springy. The last hotel we were at, the bed was actually really hard. I mean, not like rock hard, but it felt like cardboard. Um, and I'm not sure that, I, I feel like that's an Asia thing, like the Japanese. They like to sleep on like tatami mats and stuff. Well, you know, traditionally. Koreans, when you go to their gym to buy, it's all wood. It must have something to do with health. Either that or like ancient ways. I almost feel like staying here and not really going to the hot springs. Dental kit. I didn't need to buy toothpaste at the airport. Damn it. Colin. Lufa. Everyone gives you loofahs. And this, you put it in water and it expands. You've got two combs, two toothbrushes. Comb, toothbrush, razor, um, vanity kit. I'm tired, but I won't feel clean until I can wash my feet because my feet have been in these shoes for the entire day. And I'll have to charge all my stuff and download my emails. Look at my bed! If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up or like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Why haven't you subscribed? And until then, travel stay smart and fun, and I will hopefully see you in one of these places. May the girl be with you.